Over the past few decades, Australians have experienced one of the greatest housing booms the world has ever seen. Since 1970s, Australian house prices have increased roughly 60 times, averaging across the capital cities. Sydney has also gone on to claim its place as the second most unaffordable city in the world. As of 2024, the median price for a home sits at almost $1.2 million. And to afford a home in 30 kilometer radius of the city, it is estimated that you'll need a household income of at least $400,000 per year. To give you a perspective, the median household income in Sydney is currently $115,000 per year meaning that owning a home in Sydney is damn near impossible for an average citizen. Sydney and Melbourne have been very well known for being Australia's two most expensive cities to live in for years. From the start of 2020 to 2024, property prices in Sydney went up by 23.6% and in Melbourne by 11.2%, according to CoreLogic. But recently, a new contender has stolen the long reigning silver medal from Melbourne. The challenging city. Brisbane. And no one could have predicted the skyrocketing growth that this city experienced in just four short years. As beautiful as Australia might seem, with its incredible scenery and world-class beaches, the people living here are struggling to get by with the current cost of living and getting worse and worse every day. For people who didn't have the chance to benefit from the skyrocketing home values, majority of them being the younger generation, the chances of them ever owning a home are getting slimmer by the second. So how were things affected in Brisbane? In just four short years, from 2020 to 2024, Brisbane property's prices increased by a staggering 56.8%, giving Brisbane its highest peak yet. With this amount of growth, Brisbane has managed to push its medium house value over that of Melbourne's, now sitting at just over 840,000. So the question begs, what caused this sort of growth? Well, even if you just look at the rental market, each rental property has upwards of hundreds of applicants wrapped around the block with the median price of rent sitting at around $2,500 per month. Even at this price, people are begging to be accepted as a tenant as the real problem lies underneath the high cost of living. Over the past decade, Brisbane's reputation for offering a high quality of life with relatively affordable living cost compared to Sydney and Melbourne has resulted in an overwhelming increase in population. The city of Brisbane has also seen significant investments in recent years, which has presented many great job opportunities for its locals. And what better motivator for moving cities than a great way to make ends meet? Though unfortunately, with the high number of people moving to Brisbane, the housing market has struggled to keep up, to say the very least. From 2022 to 23, Australia welcomed nearly 740,000 immigrants into the country. That's more than any year in modern Australian history and 200,000 more than the surge right before COVID. Now the problem becomes obvious. There is an increase in demand for homes. The number of homes isn't keeping up. This has led to a significant increase in property prices. Vacancy rates for homes currently sit at less than 1%, with rent prices rising 9.3% over the previous year. And for people living in units, vacancy rate sits at exactly 1%, but rents have risen almost 25%. Long story short, Brisbane's housing market is in crisis. So it seems pretty straightforward, right? To fix the property market, we just need to build more homes. Well, that's easier said than done. Put a nail bag on yourself and get out there and build a house. Australian culture, unlike many other countries, has a very suburban environment where a great number of people live in open areas with single standing homes. People believe that it is better for having families and prefer this over living in densely populated areas. To put it into perspective, Brisbane holds 1,400 people per square kilometre on average, while places like New York have a population density of almost 11,000 people per square kilometre. This makes Australia one of the least densely populated countries in the entire world. And while the population of Australia continues to grow, the amount of homes being built is declining due to the increasingly long approval times, making it extremely difficult for the government to hit home building targets. Currently, high income households generate a lot of demand when it comes to the housing market. These people, of course, were less affected by the pressures caused from the current high cost of living. 
However, it's not looking good for those living in apartments, mainly in high-rise buildings, as well as new off-the-plan apartments in blue-collar areas. Some people have even gone as far to say that it is likely the high-rise apartments around the Brisbane CBD will be considered the slums of the future as they are often neglected by homeowners and investors. Now, with all this seemingly terrible news, I've probably turned you off from ever wanting to live in Brisbane. So let's answer the question we're all thinking of. Is it still worth living in Brisbane? Well, even with all of the news and making Brisbane seem like a terrible place to live, there are many upsides to living in this city. According to propertyupdate.com, the city of Brisbane seems to be putting a great emphasis on livability moving forward. The city has now seen increased demand for A-grade homes, particularly in lifestyle locations. These usually include places that are in close proximity to schools, shopping malls, and parks with access to great public transport and job opportunities. A home with a combination of these elements, as well as good security and space, usually have no issue holding the value, making them golden opportunities to property investors. As well as this, Queensland is expected to grow in population by more than 16% by the time Brisbane is to host the 2032 Olympics. This means that we are set to see the population of Queensland skyrocket in coming decades. Another stat by Property Update shows that we should be expecting the population to rise a shocking 8.2 million people by 2046. Brisbane has also gone on to claim the title of being the best performing state economically for the first time since January 23. While of course the property market in Brisbane has become a lot less affordable now than before the property boom, these properties represent a valuable benefit to buyers who are looking to purchase at a time when interest rates are rising. And the 2032 Olympics now being hosted by Brisbane will only serve as an even greater motivation for the city to further improve. And as we've seen in the past, infrastructure spending proved to be some of the most effective rocket fuels to transform local economies and create the property market boom. Major infrastructure projects can enhance the appeal of certain locations by improving accessibility like better public transport. So with all that being said, I'd love to hear if you guys think if it's still worth investing in property in Brisbane. Perhaps it's the new Sydney of the future. Write your thoughts in the comments below. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for sticking with me this far. If you want to fill your page with more valuable content like this, consider subscribing and drop a thumbs up as we'll be doing our best to provide you with the most up-to-date information YouTube has to offer. For a deeper dive into whether the 2024-25 federal budget's housing measures will truly solve Australia's housing crisis, check out our in-depth analysis video. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.